some different wheels put the stock ones back on i'm actually gonna get these painted there's some cool little wheels got them for 80 bucks on offer up which i mean they look nice and not the best nice. but once i get them painted i'm actually gonna go with the copper shoot some clear over them and then uh, i think that'll complement the white rather well and um i actually think i might just i mean this car doesn't need paint but the thing i can't stand up about this integra or these models is the black molding. I know that's big for a lot of people, but I don't like the black molding. I like a clean paint all the way around. And even though it'd be much easier and quicker to just paint the moldings, well, I'd have to paint the moldings and then the bumper separately, the whole complete bumper. Um, I already have some, I already have some freaking clear chipping away. So that's another reason why I do want to paint it. Cause yeah, see it's, uh, I could just match it, paint it, but it is white. White's a little harder to match. See the bumper's already peeling as well too. It's cracking a little bit. Other than that, the car's clean. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Um, but we'll see. So I got uh, I got the rims pretty much sent down to uh, my preference. The rest is just gonna be shot with uh, some primer. And um, see if you got any curb rash, this is the time to take it off. Uh, just use some uh, pretty some low grit uh, sandpaper and uh, make sure it's pretty rough. So it could pretty much you're trying to go, not necessarily grind it. I guess you're kind of grinding it, but you're using the sandpaper unless if got some pretty aggressive uh, 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 curb rash then you might want to have to use like an angle grinder and um, but yeah that's pretty much it so pretty much got everything smoothed out everything's gonna be shot with primer and then I'm gonna get the rest done that's one to go I mean that's one down four to go passes on each one uh, you want to make sure that you look right in between let me focus on that right in between the spokes 
um, all the in-betweens, the little nooks and crannies, make sure you got in between all those. Um, because you do want it pretty smooth. Sometimes you get like little cl clustered, uh, pe uh, a little clustered uh, lumps of primer. So I'm gonna start shooting the metallic base and then get on with the copper. All right, so got a quick shot of silver here. Uh, brilliant silver from, I believe this one's from uh, Krylon. This is gonna be our metallic base before we shoot the uh, copper. So with spraying, you want to make sure that um, when you're spraying in between the spokes, you don't want to stay, you don't want to keep the nozzle on the whole time. You just kind of want to mist it back and forth, like on and off, on and off, because uh, otherwise you will get runs since it's just a small coverage and it's like, you know, a very awkward um, surface, the sides, you know, the side of, of the spokes. You want to make sure you're about like a six, six, anywhere from six to set to eight inch away from the surface. Anything too close is gonna make you get a uh, runs, drips. So we're really focus on getting the creases, the in between. Those are very important because those are the ones that least people, where people least look at. And uh, often, once you put the rim on, you're going to notice that it's very light on those areas or maybe just didn't grab any color. So that's why we want to make sure that we get those areas first before the top. Because the top, no matter what, it's going to get sprayed. And it's very easy to, to reach. So while these little nooks and crannies are not, so... Also got the inside of all the way around. So I'm going to do the it. You also want to make sure you change your angle because when you come this way, you might not spray this part uh, as well this, uh, as well as you would spray the what's right right in front of you. So now we spray the spokes back and forth, back and forth. Now we're gonna spray the rim. So here we have the finished product. Came out looking great. It's a little dark in here, so the tone's a little bit darker, but it definitely has like a rose gold tone to it. It's copper for sure. So this just came in from, uh, from Amazon, some JDM Speed uh, extended lug nuts. Um, I'm not a, I'm not sure if I'm a big fan on the spikes, but I got them anyways just to see how they you know how they check out on the car with the wheels. I feel like they're really gonna look 
I mean, well, I know the gold is really going to complement the rose, uh, uh, what is it, the rose gold or the copper, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, let's see if I can focus better. Yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and put these on. I think I paid like 24 bucks for them on Amazon. I'm going to go ahead and it took like two days to ship. I believe you have Prime. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on, put the wheels on. But uh, they've been cooking outside for the last, I want to say, two, three days. It's not completely cured. So I gotta, you got to be careful when you uh, just freshly spray paint wheels. Because as you're mounting them on the car, the studs can scratch off the paint. <clears throat> and so can this if you are not being careful enough. You just want to make sure that, you know, you just stick in the, the lug nut, like, carefully. Not touching the, you know, the rim of the, with a, with a, where the lug pattern is at, where the lugs are at, you know, you just want to, you just want to pretty much put it in there real smooth, you know what I'm saying, and just thread it in, and then bada bing bada boom, you should be done, nothing scratched, and yeah, so let's see how these look, because I actually got to start driving that DA today, because I let my dad borrow my Accord, and um, I've been using his truck, which is not very comfortable, so let's get to it.